Two weeks ago, a respiratory therapist from upstate New York went back to St. Joseph Hospital to help COVID-19 patients. Nicole Somavilla from our sister station in Syracuse is sharing the other piece to this story. How those on the front lines aren't the only heroes in this fight. It's a calling Jason Meany couldn't ignore and a decision he and his wife Cheryl made together. But every day he walks through these doors is another day he's away from home and away from his family. It's taxing in a lot of ways, and it's, it's hard when he's not around. Jason works directly with COVID-19 patients, putting them on ventilators and helping them stay alive, which means he has direct exposure. So when he went back to the hospital, he moved out to protect his family. It's just, it's super emotional. And Missing her husband, teaching students remotely, and raising three kids. It's a lot to juggle. We actually have a pretty good... Uh, system in place. Uh, Jason calls his family every day before he goes in for the night shift and some mornings he'll come home to have breakfast with them just from a distance and for those few moments it's almost as if nothing's changed. They set coffee and scrambled eggs out for me um, and then they come out on the porch. But when he gets back in his truck and drives away their new reality sets back in. So I was standing on the other side of the door and he kissed like the glass. And that's the closest, like, physical contact that we've had since he left. And so, like, that part, it's just, it's so hard for someone who, like, is just, like, a hugger. Some days I've got more hope than others. Uh, some days I'm a little worn down. All of the, the normal family things that, that we don't get to do right now, those are the things that I'm, I'm hopeful for. Because they know their health care hero will be home again. And it's stories like these that remind us to stay home for those working on the front lines that can't be with their family. So, Jason, thank you for everything you're doing and to your family for the sacrifices you've made.